Welcome to Excel in a minute. For this video, you will learn to use the count if function in partial matching. Count if function is widely used in data management. It has the capacity to automatically count cells containing specific criteria. Before we begin, what is partial matching and how does it work? Partial matching is when you want to select just a part of the entry that matches your query. It doesn't have to be the whole cell. As long as it has your query, it will be included. Exact matching on the other hand will only include data that is exactly the same. Partial matching is done with the use of a wildcard syntax. We have a separate video about the wildcard syntax since it's used in other functions as well. Check out the link in the description if you want to learn more about it after the video. Now it's time to show you how to use partial matching with the count if function. To begin, let's pull out a sample worksheet. Under segment there is a code in the form of the letters AA. They are positioned either at the beginning or the end of some segments. First, let's try to select all entries with AAs at the end. Click the cell where you want to insert the function. Then type equals COUNTIF, followed by an open parenthesis. Next, select all the cells you want to count. This is your range. After selecting these cells, type a comma followed by your criteria. All of the data that has AA at the end was selected. This time, let's try to select all entries with AA at the beginning. Just do the same thing except this time, place the asterisk after the query. Three entries were included, and they all have AAs at the beginning. And lastly, let's now get all the data that has AA in them. Just do the same thing with the previous examples, but this time add an asterisk at the beginning and the end of the query. All entries with AA at the beginning or in the end were all successfully included. You now know how the partial matching works. Try it with your data and let's know how it goes. Thank you for your time. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel in a minute. You may also check out the link below to download the presentation. We hope to see you in the next lesson.